वाइकल कैंसर स्टेज वाइस मैनेजमेंट 2021 फीगो अपडेट्स इज अ टॉपिक ऑफ अवर डिस्कशन टुडे इन स्टेज वन द ट्यूमर इज कन्फाइंड टू सर्विक्स द एक्सटेंशन टू कॉर्पस शुड बी डिसरिगार्डेड इन वन ए देर इज माइक्रोस्कोपिक इन्वेजिव कार्सिनोमा विद द डेप्थ ऑफ इन्वेजन ऑफ लेस दैन फाइव एम एम वन ए इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू वन ए वन एंड वन ए टू इन वन ए वन देर इज स्ट्रोमल इन्वेजन ऑफ लेस दैन थ्री मिलीमीटर इन डेप्थ The fertility sparing procedure is cervical colonization with a close follow up but when the family is complete we go for DAH plus VSO. In 1A2 there is stromal invasion of more than 3 mm and less than 5 mm in depth. For fertility sparing we go for cervical colonization with laparoscopic pelvic lymphadenectomy or radical tracheotomy with a pelvic lymphadenectomy. When the family is complete, the treatment of choice is modified radical hysterectomy with 5 mm clear margin plus BSO plus pelvic lymph adenectomy. In stage 1B, there is microscopic invasive carcinoma with a depth of invasion of more than 5 mm. This lesion is greater than stage 1A and lesion is limited to cervix uteri. In 1B1, there is invasive carcinoma of 5 mm or more and less than 2 cm in greatest dimension. For fertility sparing, if the tumor bulk is less than 500 ml, we go for radical tracheotomy plus lymph node dissection. But when the family is complete, the treatment of choice is radical hysterectomy with a pelvic lymph adenectomy. Stage 1B2 is invasive carcinoma 2 cm or more and less than 4 cm in the greatest dimension. The management of choice is radical hysterectomy plus BS plus pelvic lymph adenectomy or radiotherapy. means with or without radiotherapy 1b3 is invasive carcinoma with a more more than 4 cm in greatest dimension the management of choice is concurrent platinum based chemo radiation here we have the summary of stage 1 which is further divided into stage 1a and stage 1b next is stage 2 in which the tumor extends beyond the uterus but not to the pelvic wall or to the lower third of the vagina it is further divided into 2a and 2b in 2a upper two third of the vagina is involved without pa uh, parametrial involvement stage 2a1 cervical carcinoma means invasive carcinoma of less than 4 cm in greatest dimension In this case the best management option is radical hysterectomy plus BSO with pelvic lymphadenectomy and or radiotherapy. Stage 2A2 cervical carcinoma means invasive carcinoma of more than 4 cm in the greatest dimension. It is treated by concurrent platinum based chemo radiation. In stage 2B there is parametrial involvement but not up to pelvic wall. it is treated by radical hysterectomy plus chemotherapy this is the summary of stage 2 which include 2a and 2b with a further division of stage 2a next comes stage 3 in which lower third of the vagina and or extension to the pelvic wall is there and or hydronephrosis or non functioning kidney and or involvement of the pelvic and para aortic lymph nodes in stage 3a lower third of vagina is involved with no extension to the pelvic wall whereas in stage 3b there is extension to pelvic wall and or hydronephrosis or non functioning kidney in stage 3c there are involvement of pelvic and para aortic lymph nodes It is further divided into 2, 3, uh, C1 and 3, C2. 3, C1 means pelvic lymph node metastasis is there. 3, C2 means para aortic lymph node metastasis is there. Stage 3 management is concurrent platinum based chemo radiation. And this is the summary of stage 3, which is divided into 3A, 3B, and 3C. Last stage is stage 4 in which tumor extends beyond the true pelvis or has involved the mucosa of the bladder or rectum. An important point to remember is that a bullous edema doesn't permit a case to be allotted to stage 4. In stage 4a there is spread of the tumor to adjacent pelvic organs and the management is concurrent platinum based chemo radiation. In stage 4b there is spread to distant pelvic organ and the treatment is concurrent platinum based chemo radiation this is stage 4 
divide it into stage 4a and stage 4b. This is the screenshot from 2021 FIGO updates about cervical cancer and I have explained all these stages already. So cervical cancer is divided into stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 and stage 4. This is the whole summary. You can take screenshot of it. It's important to know about the post-treatment follow-up, which is three monthly pap smear for the first two years, then six monthly for the next three years. And if normal follow-up at five years, patient can return to routine screening. Subscribe on OBS and Gynae right in the comment section and follow our Facebook page of on OBS and Gynae. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.